Sorry I cost you your fortune, Grandpa. Oh, the fortune doesn't matter, boy. Fortune doesn't matter, the boy. The important thing is you're safe. Now let's, let's get, get that, that fortune. fortune. <laughs> All right, so I bought this art book from P. Diddle uh, six years ago, and I mostly bought it for... Um, the wrong reasons. I was going to give this one uh, painting to someone uh, that I cared about very much at the time, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> so I get to keep it instead. I really like this David Lynch piece that he did. So I was like, "Hey, I want to buy it," and Diddle was like, "Well, you got to buy the whole book because I'm not tearing the page out." And I'm like, "Okay." So then, after I told Diddle I was going to buy the book, maybe I can flip through it while I talk. Hold on. Um. So I told Diddle I was going to just buy the whole book and I'll pay him a whole bunch of money. Um, he painted me. There's like a portrait in here. Uh, this is just like a practice book he had when he was doing gouache work on stream. Um, man, he's really got a thing for faces, though. I don't know. It's pretty good. Pretty good at capturing likenesses. Obviously, always a fan of the nature stuff. Kind of wish he did a little more, but the portraits are always good. Some flowers. Turtle's pretty good. in a pointless war! Uh, the turtle's pretty good. I think I don't remember. I'll have to ask him what kind of turtle or where he found the picture or whatever. But yeah, the turtle's pretty good. Um, but his, I think what amazes me about Diddle's work is his limited color palette still feels really vibrant. Like if you look, he talked about it on stream. I don't remember what he said, but he said there's one artist that mostly just uses like four or five colors and he tries to emulate that and he does a really good job. Like this one's a little, got a little extra red in there. Don't typically see a lot of reds from him. <laughs> um, all right, here, can I flip like this? This marker is probably dry. I definitely need to change that. Ooh, nice beach. 10 a.m. Pismo Pier. I'll have to Google that later. I don't think I've ever actually read it. Um, there's a David Lynch piece. I don't remember whose eyeballs those are. Nice blues, though. Fan of green, though. Definitely, definitely a fan of nice, bright, vivid green eyes. Uh, all right. This is my friend's dog. He passed away a long time ago. Uh, his name was Olaf, and he ate everything. He was the garbage disposal dog. I loved him to death. He was the best. And then that's one of the stupid chickens at the house that I was renting for my brother. <laughs> stupid stupid chickens it's a nice nice drawing though that's why i wanted to show this to phil and he left before i could show it to him um who's that kurt russell from hateful eight i think it's pretty good nice nice mustache harry's bar pismo beach california i guess he did a couple at pismo beach that day maybe he just went back a couple times maybe he lived nearby i don't know i have to ask him i'm bringing this book with me anyway that's me that's me. Very detailed. He definitely put like a lot of time and effort to capture my face. That's pretty good. I'm still mad that he gave me two gray hairs though. Like I don't even have. I don't think I have any gray hairs in my beard right now. I probably picked them out. <laughs> but uh, man. Yeah, he put, it, he, put, he put a lot of time and effort into this, and I still really, really appreciate it. I should look at it more. Like, I haven't pulled this book off the shelf, like, I don't know, for a year or two. Oh, Gandalf, of course. Wait. Uh, hold on. Do I still got Fly in here? Fly, you fools. <laughs> I put that in for Richie. He never puts it in the chat. All right. And then, I don't know, some biker dudes, some fruits. Hold on. Uh, lambs? Sheep? I don't know. Some boats. Is that Pismo Beach again? Morro Bay, California. Nice boats. Nadine, morning, and I can't tell what the name of the third one is. Pretty good. And then this was a practice version of L.I. Joe. I think he did a, a second one because his eyeballs are a little bit off. I still like it, though. I showed L.I. Joe this version at uh, Evo when I met him. That man is super short. That man is like four foot tall. <laughs> That man is so, he's very, very, very nice. Uh, but he's a very tiny person. Uh, yeah, I like this dark shadow thing. That's cool. And then Diddle's work with blue for armor. And then I got everybody to sign when I went to Evo, including there's an LVT fade signature in here. I forgot about that. I'm glad I brought this to uh, whatever that taco place was. It was hella busy. 
anyway, I hope I remember to bring it with me. Uh, all right. So cut, edit. Uh, I want to review this Wolverine book I read. I don't remember everything I wanted to say about it. I think overall I was going to give it like a six out of 10. I wasn't as pleased with it as I had hoped, but the art is still really, really cool. So it still has redeeming qualities. I think what I'm most mad about is one of the pages came out because it's cheap. It's like a, I don't know. I paid $18 for it and it's kind of short. I feel like it could have at least had a nice binding. I wonder if I can like exchange it or something. Maybe I'll just try to glue it. I don't know. But snicked by uh, Sutomo Nihei, I guess. I don't know. The glue is right. Yeah, you signed it. You signed my Eva book. Yeah. Uh, your signature's in there. As, you dated it too, so I know exactly when. <laughs> I know exactly when you signed it. Uh, thank you, because nobody else dated it. You, you, Eris, Cat, uh, uh, Liver Slapper. Even though I don't talk to him anymore. Uh, Eris Markman, Li Joe. Uh, I think Tasty Steven, maybe Say Jam. I don't know if I met Say Jam. Might have just been Steve. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. Um, I brought it to the taco place. Yeah, I brought it to the taco place. Um, anyway, Wolverine book. Okay, I think my main complaint with this book was the... Obviously, you know, it's a anime written by a Japanese man. The dialogue is off. Like, this doesn't... When you read it, it doesn't sound like Wolverine. It sounds like generic comic book superhero dialogue that's not very fleshed out, unfortunately. So I think that's my only complaint. But, like, the... I do like this guy's version of how he drew Wolverine or how they drew Wolverine, I guess. Uh, just like little emo teenage angst Wolverine is kind of funny looking to, to, to watch. But I like um, the artwork is very detailed, the like sci-fi gritty dark. I don't know. The bad guy was cool looking. These like they train biological AI to to root out disease and toxins and instead they go around murdering humans. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking Mr. Wizard. <laughs> what a dickhead. I'm so glad he didn't sign it, dude. I'm so glad. I'm so glad he didn't sign it. Like that's that's such a such a blessing. <laughs> uh more pages might fall off uh the rest of them seem okay it's just like that it's just this one page that didn't like go in all the way but um anyway yeah i don't know i gotta i gotta glue it or something anyway the action scenes were really really good i think i've never really paid much attention to like comic book action scenes just because I, I i don't know i kind of feel like i need the motion of like an animation to help me f uh mentally process it better but i don't know it's still cool there were like a lot of just silent panels with action which works probably better for uh this uh author whoever wrote the dialogue for this um yeah the action scenes are really really good just him running around chopping up these like biological robot terminator things uh the story was a little yeah the story was definitely like a terminator except with wolverine which whatever i guess at least the drawings were cool i want to start collecting paperback comics again i just saw this on the shelf at barnes and noble and i was like oh that looks really cool like it's anime wolverine i have to buy it and it was only it was 20 bucks and then rich is a barnes and noble member so it was 18 i stole his uh, phone number <laughs> stole his phone number so i get two dollars off um, but yeah, the, the action scenes were good. The dialogue was not good and I really like the art style. Oh yeah. The black and white sketches at the end were really good too. Um, oh shit. I lost another page. Maybe you're right. <laughs> there, there goes another page coming out. Uh, all right. I guess I won't be able to like show a whole lot more. Um, this pan this panel was pretty good red stark red background teenage angst wolverine yeah these are cool these are cool what's idw stand for i buy a lot of used paperbacks i should find like a, a used bookstore or something somewhere instead of just going to barnes and noble but barnes and noble actually put puts effort into their like anime and manga now so it's not bad to look through 
at least for new stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I give this uh, Snicked comic six out of ten. Uh, graphics were good, nice to look at. Didn't like reading it. Uh, cut, edit, go to print. That's my uh, Wolverine Snick review. <laughs> Let's go!